The perfect leather jacket is something I think every man in this world should own. The great things about leather jackets is that it looks good regardless of what kind of person you are and what you like to do. You can either rock a racer, a classic biker, a new modern biker, which are the three most common jackets. There are others, of course, but these are the most three common. The first leather jacket I want to talk about is the racer. This is a more casual look. If you're not that edgy or that into rock music or biker culture, but you think a leather jacket looks awesome, this jacket is for you. If you're more of that casual type who can rock sneakers into your outfit, this is the jacket for you. The thing about this jacket is that it's very smooth. It doesn't have lots of details like the recent jacket I was wearing. It is completely plain, just like that, nothing special, and it looks hella awesome when you put it on. The second jacket is a more rough type. This is the more new modern biker jacket. If you're a muscular guy, like a big tough, especially if you ride a mo motorcycle, this is of course the jacket for you. Not only is it thick and it's warm and it keeps all the wind outside when you're riding or when you're walking or anything, but it looks so muscular. I mean, when I put it on, I look so much bigger. Look at my shoulders. It is fitted around your body to make you look as muscular as possible. Like, look at that fit, it's amazing. And the last leather jacket I want to talk about is the one I was wearing at the start of this video, which is the classic biker. Now, in my opinion, this leather jacket beats all the other leather jackets. Yes, I am IG type, I love rock and roll, I play guitar and all that stuff, so it fits my style, of course, but it is just awesome. It has the smooth sexiness that the racer does, and it has the muscular texture that the new modern bi biker does. But it also has attitude and that, you know, a bad boy look that these other jackets doesn't have. There's something about it. When you put it on, it's just amazing. And it has been with us for almost a century. It started back in the 1940s. This is the first motorcycle jacket. And the cool thing about it is all these details you see on the jackets, even these things here, are constructed to riding a motorcycle. They're not meant to look a certain way. You're supposed to fit your gloves in here, your motorcycle gloves. Open up and then you put them in there. And all these pockets to carry cigarettes because people smoke a lot, to carry weapons, everything. And this is to keep you warm and the wind outside when you're riding a motorcycle. And you get the belt to lock yourself. So all the details on this jacket has a story, which makes it so fucking awesome. Now, reasons to buy a leather jacket. The first reason to buy a leather jacket is that it looks fucking badass. I mean, you see all those jackets without even the outfits, which I'm going to talk about later. It looks so badass. You automatically sense off a look that says, don't fuck with me. Number two, you look very mysterious. There's something about a leather jacket that makes you look a little darker, a little more mysterious, a little more sexier. And the last reason, it exists so many jackets. These are just three that I'm going through, but there exist so many more. So regardless of what kind of person you are, what you're into, you can always find a leather jacket that fits your personality and matches your goals and everything. Now, how do you style it? You can style a leather jacket in many different ways. The first style I want to talk about is the rock and roll. This style was very popular in the 80s but it is still with us till this day, in a just very upgraded version. Very typical for this look is a band shirt. I'm rocking Guns N' Roses right now. And then, of course, your leather jacket. You can rock bandanas in your pants, you know, hanging outside like that, just like Slash and all the members of Guns N' Roses. And you can also rock a chain in your pants, which looks just amazing. Combine this look with a little longer hair than me. You can grow a beard, you can have clean shave, doesn't matter, with a pair of badass boots. I will recommend Combat, Doc Martens, or Engineer boots. Can't really go wrong. The next look I want to talk about is the greaser look. Now, of course, I haven't done my hair in a elephant trunk or a pompadour, but it's slicked back. The greaser style is very basic. You can rock a bird if you want to. I would not do that for this look. I think it looks more clean and more cool with a clean shave. A simple white tee that fits your chest and you roll up the sleeves on your t-shirt. Of course, your leather jacket. Zip this up 
and roll up the downside of your pants. Now when it comes to shoes, there are only two kinds of shoes I would recommend you to wear if you're going to rock the Greta look. The first one is the Converse. It looks amazing, it looks a bit more casual, but if you want to take your Greta style to the next level, I would go with engineer boots. Now, the last look I want to talk about is the dark, mysterious, new type of bad boy. Which leads us back to the razor jacket I was talking about. This is so smooth and casual, you can see no details. And just straight and black, it is sexy as hell, let me tell you. And especially with not a white, not a red, not a fucking yellow, but a dark. Especially blue or especially black t-shirt underneath this looks so dark, mysterious and sexy. Comparing this to the greaser outfit is that it is also very basic. You need a jacket and a t-shirt and top it up with some black jeans, black engineer boots. This is the look you would want to wear on a pub. You know, sitting in your corner, drinking your whiskey or your beer, whatever, looking mysterious, looking at your own shit going on. And it looks amazing with almost any hairstyle. You can rock a bun, you can rock a slick back, you can rock a side cuts, anything. And the hair color doesn't really matter. This looks awesome on everybody. And especially for you who's not into the, all that edge, this is perfect for you. So after this video, I really hope that you have a bit more knowledge about leather jackets. And I maybe inspired you to go buy a leather jacket. And I myself am a huge leather jacket fan. I'm still gonna keep on buying them, still gonna keep on making new styles out of them. They're just timeless and amazing and badass and something that will never die out. I'll see you in the next video.